of right now, no. We, we got nothing else. We got nothing else. All right, let's go ahead and dive into our NF, well, NFL previews. It is the AFC West and the NFC West today. We're going to start with the AFC West. And I got to tell you, I'm a, I'm a little pumped to be talking about this division, man. There's some, uh, there's some interesting teams here. And we'll go ahead and fire it off with, uh, with the Denver Broncos. Vic Fangio in his second season, they went 7-9 and nine last year. Um, you know, I, not too shabby last year. I, they, they started out not great and, and ended up okay. Hey, let's go through some of the stats here. Number 26 in offensive yards per play. They had 5.0 yards per play last year. Defensive yards per play, they gave up 5.4. That was number 13 in the league. Turnover margin was number 13 in the league at plus 0.1 turnovers per game. So not too shabby. The question here, is Drew Locke good? Is he the future? Is he the guy that's going to get this thing done? He has got talent all around him, right? They've got Noah Fant. They got uh, Jerry Judy. They got uh, Cam Sutton. They got uh, uh, they brought in Gordon. You know, they, they got guys. They've still got Phillip Lindsay there. They got dudes on offense. Is the offense going to be potent enough to be able to get this done? On defense, I mean, they added A.J., uh, uh, how do you say his name? Boye? Is it Boye? Yeah. Uh, they got uh, uh, Glasgow. They got uh, Jarrell Casey. They got, uh, you know, they've got in Von Miller and uh, and Bradley Chubb. And I think Bradley Chubb's going to be healthy this season. I think Von Miller's going to, you know, wait, now that he's got more people around him, he will be free to get back to what he's used to doing. I don't, I don't have a problem with the defense at all. My question is, is Drew Locke going to be able to get the playmakers the ball? And I, I think they're going to be just fine. I really like this team this year. Uh, by the way, the win total set at 7.5, and, and I think that that is insanely low. The over is minus 130. The under is plus 100. You can find that over at Bet Online. And, uh, and to win the division over at Bet Online, they are plus 800. I mean, just absolutely ridiculous, uh, which it makes sense because the Chiefs are in the division, but... I've got this team going ten and six, man. I love the Broncos this year. So I, I got them somewhere between eight and eight and seven and nine. So we're nine and seven. We're not we're not too total you know, terribly apart. I think this team stinks a whole lot like the Cleveland Browns last year. Yeah, just too much hype too early. A lot. Well, it's not even the hype because I don't know that a ton of people are talking about them. But it's you have an unproven quarter a uh, coach an unproven quarterback that had a good finish to a year true but we don't really know a lot about him and we just loaded him up full of weapons all right and and at the end of the day people were thinking oh this team can make a run this and another i definitely bought into the hype it, it, at some point in time i just don't know you know it's funny that that Cleveland Browns team opened up with the Titans and they were like pretty big favorites against the Titans and everybody was just like, why did why did we think that this team was going to be good? And the Titans just came in and beat the crap out of them. The Broncos this year, week one, open up with the Titans. Yep. And, uh, and, and, and I just think, you know, is this one of those things where everybody's just falling into a pit again? Um, and, and so, I don't you know. You might we'll be right. See. I mean, you eight, might be right. Eight and eight, nine. And, I would love to see them go nine and seven. I like this football team. I love Vic Fangio. Uh, so you know we'll we'll see how how it actually works out. It's all gonna hinge on Drew Locke. I well, mean, and, Baker and, Mayfield. Baker Mayfield had all the weapons in the world last year, and he was terrible. Do do okay. you trust Drew Locke with Pat Shermer, who who they brought in as their offensive coordinator? No, oh, Pat Shermer's yeah. gonna be fine. He's been an OC in this league forever. Yeah, agreed, agreed. I, but that's the thing. It's you know it can can those two create a, a good enough chemistry. A good uh, dynamic you know, chemistry. He's got to play well. well yeah, See, that's, but so you got to be able. This to... Isn't, a, it isn't about chemistry. It's not. A, he's going to know the playbook. He's going to know what 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 he's doing when he goes out there. Is he going to execute? Is he going to play well? Yeah, and I, and that's the question. Can that he is make the, the throws? Can he not make the bonehead mistakes? There's a reason there's a sophomore slump all the time on these guys. Uh, it Drew just worries me. Okay, he just worries me. I can. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I can understand it. I can understand it. I like them a lot. I, I think they're, I think they're a ten and six football team, um, but I, I do really love Vic Fangio, so <laughs> I might be giving them a little bit. That defense has to figure out a way to be good because they weren't good last year, yeah. and you can't say, "Oh, well, Bradley Chubb was hurt." No, you didn't have Bradley Chubb before that, and you were really good. So, yeah. 
No, you you gotta you gotta figure this thing out. I mean, they, I think they brought in some uh, some veteran leadership. I you know I think they're going to be fine, and I trust a defense with Fangio. You know, I just I mean, I, I did too last year. I don't know why they were so bad. Uh, they were yeah, it was strange early. It was strange early, but I mean, when it comes down to it, you know, at, at end of the season for a, for an entire year, they were number thirteen in yards per play, and that is really the pivotal stat when you're looking at a team and how they did. Uh, McKinnon jumped in. He said, I truly think the Broncos are the only team in this division that could give the Chiefs a run for their money. The other teams have the potential, but I just don't see them putting it together like the Broncos or Chiefs. I don't, I don't um, think the Broncos are any different than the other teams. This, I think they're better than the other teams in this division. I don't think they're any different than them. Yeah, he said, uh, He said, I've got the Chiefs, Broncos, Raiders, and Chargers in final order for this division. Ah, I mean, maybe. Maybe. We can get there. We can get there. Let's uh, Let's go ahead and move on to the Kansas City Chiefs. And I mean, what what is there to say? I mean, you know, they went twelve and four last year. Andy Reid moving into his eighth season, uh, offensive yards per play last year six point two. That was number two in the NFL. Defensive yards per play five point four is what they gave up, which is almost exactly what the Broncos did. Now, if you get into the details, they were number fourteen. Broncos were number thirteen, uh, which is just good enough if you have a fantastic. Offense, right? Which is exactly what you need. Just a good enough defense to get you off the field and, and get your offense back out there. Turnover margin was number eight. They uh they gained point four turnovers per game. Uh Mahomes, ton of weapons. You know, you got Kelsey back, you got uh uh, uh Miko Hardman, you got Tyreek Hill, you know, and now Damian Williams opts out at running back, but you brought in Clyde, man. You brought in your boy Clyde, and I think he is gonna be fan friggin'. Fantastic. So I, I think the offense, there ain't nothing to worry about here. I think you're going to be fine. You kept that. Uh, <laughs> Monster X Gaming jumped in and said, what a coincidence. Your title starts with 9-7 and proceeds with the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, of course, he said, nice shirt, Mr. Chris. So, and Matt Miller said, you boys are getting that work in early. Yeah, it's Labor Day, man. We got stuff to do. We got things to do, man. Uh, so, it, they signed Chris Jones to an extension on defense. And... I think with that and with the players that they've got on defense, the defense is going to be just good enough to be able to make a significant run at another Super Bowl. I This seems dynastic. This seems like a dynasty in progress. As long as you've got Mahomes and you've got weapons and you've got a good enough defense, I, I think they're going to be great. Like, I, I've got them at 12-4 and four because I think, you know, you're going to lose some games. You don't. They got a tough go, schedule. Yeah, I mean it's a tough schedule. And they got to play the Bucks. They got to play the Pats. They got to play the Ravens. They've got a tough schedule. Yeah, so you're going to lose games because they are already at a point, kind of like the Pats, where it's like, okay, we need to win more than we lose, but not every game is the end of the world, and we just yep. need to get to January. We've got the exact same record. I've got them twelve and four as well. Uh, I, Andy Reid's done this long enough to know that that sixteen and zero is insane. It doesn't matter. It doesn't help you. Um, you just need to win enough. You want the bye week. You want home field advantage. You want them coming through Kansas City in the cold, and and that's all you want. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's it's just the way the way this thing's going to go. I, I think this team, you, you laid it out there. This team is all about Mahomes. If Patrick gets hurt, he got hurt last year, missed a couple of games. They did okay in those games. But if he goes down, they're not going to, they're just not going to keep rolling. Okay. And we need to be real careful about dynasties. All right. Oh, yeah. Out, outside of basketball. Okay. And even in the NBA, you still have guys that fall off pretty quickly. But, Every time a new team wins a title, we immediately start saying, how many are they going to win? And, you know, the Eagles won that last Super Bowl. That that wasn't a Patriots win. And everyone immediately started saying, oh, and they did this with Foles. What are they – how many are they going to win once Carson gets back? It's just – this doesn't happen, guys. It Dynasties – we're spoiled because we saw the Patriots go on the run for the last twenty years, and everybody thinks, "Well, it's just that easy." Well, well, here, it, hold on. It what what constitutes it ain't a happen? What what constitutes a dynasty? Is a dynasty like five years, or is a dynasty like twenty? What, what right? do you think the over under on the net, the amount of Super Bowls that Patrick Mahomes will win, knowing he's got one? My over under would be two and a half. And do you think he would go over that? I, I think he could get to three. See, I don't. 
And the only reason I said, it's not a knock on Patrick because I think he's one of the most exciting football yeah. players I've ever seen in my life. It's just it's really hard. It's really hard to win Super Bowls. <laughs> It's I agree. really hard. The fact that Bill and Tom made it to nine and won six is obscene. It's alien like. Yes, it's, okay? a, it's absolutely it's not absurd. supposed to happen. No, I agree. I agree. Hey, by the way, you brought up over unders. Uh, their win total for this season is 11 and a half. To go over is minus 150. To go under is plus 120. And to win the division, they are minus 350. I mean, that is significant championship. I've read. Significant uh, uh, odds to win a, a division yeah. title. Uh, you pay, you just, yes. Matt Miller jumps in and said, um, oh, no, 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 hold on. We'll start with this. Matt Miller said, Clyde Edwards Hilaire is getting drafted in the first round in fantasy. Yeah, he, he probably and should. I think, be. And I think he should. Yeah. I absolutely think he should. I'd take him, I I have and would take him number one overall. Um, I, yeah, I, I think I, I, he's I gonna. I think he's gonna be in the conversation with all those guys. Yeah, I think so too. I, I mean, if you're if you're le- if you're taking Alvin over him, you, I think you're wrong. Oh yeah, absolutely not, absolutely not. I hey, mean, if he's not if he's not there right by now. four, you're 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 just letting it go. Uh, Monsters Gaming said, "Could they be unbeaten at Arrowhead?" Okay, yeah. Could they win eight games at home? Sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. Uh, Matt Miller said the division defensively is good as well. I don't think there isn't a defense that's worse than uh, worse than average. Yeah, uh, I would take the Raiders being below average on defense. I mean, they were pretty good. Well, no, they weren't. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> In my head, I was like, "No, nah, Raiders." I watched right. watch but, that football team. Yeah. They made plays every now and then. They got some playmakers, but they don't scare me. No, no, no. They're no. not a team that I'm not worried about. They're, I mean, they're not. Uh, you say tenth. If you're not a top ten, if you're not in the top one third, are you average? Because I don't think they're going to be a top ten to twelve defense. Yeah, I think I would agree with you there. I would agree with you there. McKinnon said, uh, as much as I love my Falcons, I'm thankful for having my other team be the Chiefs. I don't think there's another team in the league with remotely as good a chemistry, especially with the COVID offseason. I think they end up 13-3. and three. Uh, After that, we'll see, but I hope it's another Lombardi. Uh, and then Matt Miller said, three championships in five years is a dynasty. Yes. Um, and then Monster X Gaming that. said, a dynasty could be three years. Just look at the Pats when they win their first three Super Bowls. They were already being called a dynasty. Well, yeah, they won three they, in four but years. But they were. They won three in four years. That is, yeah. that is. I think the number is three, and the number has to be three with either. The, I mean, if it takes 10 years to get you three, I think that's fine. you got to not have any real down years, and you need to do it with the same quarterback and coach. Yeah. I, I believe that those are the two components that are the most recognizable for any team, and I'm okay if it took a decade to get there. But – but you need the same core in coach and quarterback. Um, and then and then I think you can't be really bad in the in-between years to be called a dynasty. You need to consistently at least win the division or make the playoffs every one of those years. Gotcha. Maybe not all of them, but you know what I'm saying, a oh, lot yeah. of them. No, no, I know exactly what you mean. Um, now, let's get off the dynasty talk, and let's move into the Las Vegas Raiders. This is Chris's other favorite team, right? The group. It was going to be before John got there. They went seven and nine last year. Their win total, as it sits right now, seven and a half. To go over is minus one twenty. To go under is minus one ten. And that's uh, that's over at Bet Online. You can find the odds over at sbrodds.com. To win the division, they are plus nine hundred. I found that to be a little short. It's it's a little. Uh, I don't know. I think all I, I three of these teams, the Broncos were plus 800. I think they're all the same. I think they're, it's going to be the Chiefs, and everybody else is going to have the same odds. If I had to guess, knowing that they're 900 and the Broncos were 800, I would bet the Chargers would be plus 1,000. Uh, Chargers are actually plus 800. Okay. So, so it's going to be all, within 100 points of one another is what I would have assumed all of those odds are going to be because it's the Chiefs, and these three knuckleheads are no different than one another. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John Gruden enters his third season. Offensive yards per play last year, 5.9. That was number eight in the league, which uh, surprised me. Surprised me. Yep. No, not, not me. I thought they would be good offensively. Defensive yards per play, they gave up 5.9. That was number 26 in the league. So, yeah, definitely not good on defense last year. Uh, turnover mm-hmm. margin, minus .1. They gave up .1 turnovers per game. They were number 21 in the league. That's Josh, chucky football, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Josh Jacobs. Breakout star last year, uh, played insanely well. They drafted Henry Ruggs. They uh, they signed Mariota as a free agent to kind of, you know, give them options on offense, right? You know, they've got Hunter Renfro. they got other guys, right? Um, they brought in free agents, Littleton, uh, Nassib, 
Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Collins, Witten, et cetera. You know, they they brought it. They these guys, Gruden and Mayock, are constantly wheeling and dealing. Like they're they're just moving guys in and out, this and that. And I was really excited about this. I had to scratch out one of my notes because I was excited about Lynn Bowden, right? And and they trade him over the weekend to the Dolphins for a fourth. Like they took him with the third round pick. And they traded him and a sixth rounder for a fourth rounder, which I don't think it says anything good about Bowden uh, if they're willing to to give up on him before the season even begins. But like I, I loved Lim Bowden at Kentucky. That is that is not a that is not a good sign. I mean he's a, he's a utility knife, man. I I love that guy, but that, that's definitely not a good sign if you're giving up you know him and a pick for you know a lower pick than what you drafted him with. But uh, if Derek Carr or Mariota can improve. This team can be a surprise this year. Uh, they they played well on offense last year, but they had trouble scoring in spots. And then the defense, I mean, you got to find something to do with that. They have rebuilt this roster okay. But I, I don't think they're, you know, one, you play in a division with the Chiefs, so you're already in trouble with that. Um, but on the other side, like, I, this is just an average football team. And, I, I mean, I've got them with the most average record you can have, and that's 8-8, eight and eight, and that's improving a game. Um I, I think they're going to be okay, but I I don't see anything on defense that really makes me think that they've got a shot either to win the division or to even make the playoffs this year. I got them 6-10. and 10. I don't think this team's going to be great. I don't think they're going to be a doormat. I think they're going to be competitive in games. I think John Gruden in game coaching and play calling is actually pretty inventive and creative and really good. I actually like Mike Mayock a lot as as a GM and, and, a, and a personnel guy. He He's really good at his job. I think he's handcuffed a little bit by – things that John wants to do because we know that John's making a hundred percent of all the decisions. You, you don't get to be a hundred million dollar, 10 year contract coach without having all control. Um, I just, I don't, I don't see where it's coming from. They're not good enough on defense to, to, to stop people and win ugly. And they're not good enough on offense to outscore teams. I think they're going to win some games. I think they're going to be competitive in some games, but I think they're going to lose more than they win. I think six and 10 is the number. Okay, that, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, McKinnon jumps in. He said, uh, as much grief as Card gets, statistically, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league, easily top 10. He's smart, works his ass off, and while he doesn't have a big arm, he does have an accurate arm. Okay, I mean, I, look, I'm not going to say that he's awful. Like, that's, he's definitely not that. I don't know that he's one of the, one of the best in the league. Uh, I just... The only way I know to describe him, he's a poor man's Matt Ryan. He's just got a guy that's really that's, boring. Wow, that's he's, a he's really probably good, way good to but he's not great, and he doesn't get you off the couch ever. Yeah, that's a good way of putting that. That's definitely a good way of putting that. So he's he's not going to be the reason they lose games, but he damn sure ain't going to be the reason they win a lot of games either. That's a valid point. That is a very valid point. I feel the same way about Matt Ryan. Yeah, Matt Ryan will never cost his team a game. But but he also isn't going to be the reason they win a lot either. That's true. That okay. I, I like uh, I like your synopsis there. That's that's pretty good. Uh, Matt Miller said Rugs better play well right away because they have receiving weapons. Yeah, they got a lot of guys. I mean they they got a ton of guys. You know, two good tight ends, a uh, bunch of skill position guys. Josh Jacobs at running back. They they got dudes. They got dudes. The biggest but, problem with Rugs is going to have is pressure. Pressure being the number one receiver taken in a league in which. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ceedee Lamb and Ju- uh, J- uh, Jared Judy went behind him, and and if both of those guys get out hot, talk is going to start about was Rugs a bust? Even if he's good, even if he's fine, he's going to be compared to those two other guys. In every ranking, every uh, person that watched the combines, every person that evaluates talent had him substantially third behind those two gentlemen, and. And if they come out balling, it's and that's not his fault. It ain't, it ain't hit just like it. It wasn't wasn't uh, Daniel's fault. Daniel Jones's fault that he got picked. You know, fourth Sixth. overall. Yeah, it, it, it's not his fault. But that's the pressure he's going to have to live up to. That is true. That is true. All right, let's move on from them. Let's move into the Los Angeles Chargers. Coach Anthony Lynn moving into his fourth season, and he has been. All over the place. It had a twelve and four season. Had a five and eleven season. They have <laughs> fired kickers and fired this and that. Uh, you know all sorts of stuff. Uh, Matt Miller jumps in. Raiders versus Broncos. Rugs versus Judy. Who do you think is better? 
Uh, Judy. I, I think Judy's get, uh, head and shoulders better than Ruggs. Uh, Ruggs is is a burner, and but Ruggs, Ruggs is still okay, a good Ruggs receiver. Okay, Ruggs is faster than him. If they yeah. get in underwear and they run a track me, I'll take Ruggs. Yeah. Are we playing in our underwear? Are we running track? I mean, I'm it, we 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 running we running on the field, man. We you know? <laughs> Judy, no, there's no evaluation whatsoever that has Ruggs being a better receiver than Judy. There's no, it's just true. Not. It's true. Now I think they're both really good, but you know that, I, I do think Judy's question, better. That's not the question, Gary. Judy's a better re- the receiver. He just is. He's and a he's better a, route runner. And he's, a, and he's a lot. He's marginally better. He's a. Yeah. He's. It's. You can see it better. He's. He's better. Yeah. It. Uh, if to I were them, I would have taken. Was a mistake. I would have taken. I would have taken Judy. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. Lee. Lee. CD and Judy are are were were splitting hairs, and then there was a pretty good gap between. Rugs and Jefferson and 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 Higgins and the next group. Yes, yes, agreed, agreed. All right, so back to the Chargers. Anthony Lynn, fourth year, went five and eleven last year. Um, so five and eleven last year, and twelve and four the year before that. Uh, Philip Rivers last year was throwing picks like it was going out of style. Man, twenty three touchdowns and twenty interceptions. So uh, they move on from the old man. He moves over to the Indianapolis Colts, who are immediately division favorites in the AFC South. And the Chargers have got Tyrod Taylor, who they are deciding they are going to roll with, and, and he's supposed to be the starter. I don't think they've named him yet. But uh, but then they've also got Justin Herbert, who they took sixth overall from Oregon. And <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt Miller said, Chris, are you saying you want to play in your underwear? Kinky. <laughs> These guys in the chat. Um, good gracious. So I would be more <laughs> opt to play in my underwear than without a shirt on. Let's say that. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, let's move into some of these stats right quick. Offensive yards per play last year, 5.9. That is not too shabby. It's number seven in the league. Defensive yards per play, again, pretty average, 5.4. That is number 15 in the league. However, the turnover margin, they gave up 1.1 turnovers per game, dead F last in the league. Number 32, uh, Joey Bosa signed a massive deal. Uh, he and Ingram. Great duo on the defensive line. Uh, Eckler is going to be the guy at running back. You know, at Gordon signed with the Broncos. You know that he wanted that opportunity to be able to play the Chargers twice a year, so he's going to get it. There we go. Uh, they got Allen and Williams at wide receiver. Those guys are studs. They got weapons. This team, like this roster, is not bad. Uh, the The question is, does does Taylor or Herbert scare anybody at quarterback? Because this is a quarterback league. Like, let's not forget that you got to have a guy that is competent, and a guy that can get you points on the board. And Tyrod Taylor, as much as you and I both like him, he hasn't done that consistently over the years. He's been serviceable for sure, but he hasn't done it consistently. Um, and then, my God, the Derwin James injury. I mean, that's, that's just a stinger because you needed him back there to create a little bit of havoc and to get some of those turnovers. And I, I just... I'll tell you this. Uh, win total is 7.5. By the way, over is minus 145. The under is plus 115. And uh, and they are plus 800 to win the division. I don't trust Anthony Lynn. Like, I, I just don't. And I don't like their quarterback situation right now. I think it's going to take some time to get them going. And they play in a pretty tough division. I, I don't like what this schedule sets up like. I've got them going 6-10, and 10, man. I, I don't trust this Chargers team right now. We're the exact same. I think them and the Raiders finished with the same record, six and ten. Here's my issue with this team. First things first, let's address the Phillip Rivers, all the turnovers, all the interceptions last year. Okay. Worst offensive line in the league, period. Has been for a while. They play from behind constantly. When you've got four minutes left and you're down by two scores, interceptions happen a lot. Look yeah. at the fourth. If you take Phillip Rivers' fourth quarter numbers out, all those turnovers disappear. Why do they all happen in the fourth quarter? Because they're desperate, because they're down, because they don't, if they're not playing well at the beginning of games. He is getting chased the entire game, can't get the run game going because you don't have a good offensive line. The defensive secondary is atrocious, so people are throwing on you right and left. You got two monsters in the middle of the field on the edges, sorry, that that are that are just complete beast. Um, but but they can't do everything. And and the rest of that defense hasn't been great, and and they're not healthy, and so this is just one of those situations where Rivers was just trying to play hero ball to keep them in games and couldn't do it. All right, 
Yeah. I don't think that's on him. If you think Mike Williams is going to save this team, look, I love Mike Williams. I love him to death. But he's hurt right now before the season starts, and he is a take the top off the defense, go up and get the football, and I don't think either one of these quarterbacks are going to get him the ball. Uh, they may not have time to. I mean, no, no, that- they, they're not going to have time to. <laughs> B, I don't know that they have the arm to do it. Yeah. Yeah, so, I think you're right. So it's just one of those things where I think this team is going to struggle. I think their games are going to be ugly and hard to watch. I uh, I will say this. I do like Kenneth Murray, the linebacker that they drafted out of Oklahoma. I, I like him a lot. He's a rookie, man. But he's a he's rookie. He's a rookie. Yeah, he's he's a rookie, and it's going to take some time for him to figure out that position. Um, I mean, they, they're going to have skilled him rookies on great defenses can come in and, and gel and be really protective. You need him to come in and be a playmaker game one, year one, for a team that defensively outside of, of, of Bosa and Ingram are just not real good. I don't see it happening, man. Yeah, no, it's it's going to take some time. It Teams are going to go at him, and it's going to be tough for him to be able to find this place in this world. You uh, you 